I'm just over the moon about this new leaf. I think I talk about this a lot on this channel, but I love potatoes. Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite plants and plant supplies of what was supposed to be April, but now we're halfway through May. So it's just going to be all of April and part of May. Just, you know, just plants and plant supplies that I have been really enjoying lately. Okay, so the first, it's not really a plant supply, but I put gravel on the ground in my greenhouse and that is just I don't even have the words it's just it's helped so much with like the mud and I feel like the temperature is better I just I'm so happy that I did that I wish that I hadn't waited so long so I'm just I'm really happy with the gravel in my greenhouse so that's definitely an April favorite for me. And then the next couple of things, we all know that springtime is pest season. So the first thing is this, I talked about this in another video. It's called Green Cleaner. And I got this at Harvest Grow Supply, but I will link it. I think I found it on Amazon. I've been really liking this. Um, and what initially drew me to this product was for broad mites or russet mice. They're not called russet mites, are they? Um, just those broad mites or flat mites, I believe are the same thing. But anyway, those little mites that we can't see on Hoyas and they just stop growing. So I was looking for something for that in our local grow supply store and this is what I found and looking at the ingredients it looked a little bit less scary than some of the stuff like I'm not scared to spray it in an area where I will be every day now I'm not gonna drink it or anything but I really liked this and it seems to be working pretty well it does re require repeat application there's not really much of anything you're gonna spray on a plant one time and then you'll never have another issue. So especially in the greenhouse, this has helped me a lot and it makes the plant leaves nice and shiny also. And this is another pest control product that I've been really liking this month. It's called SNS 209. It's a systemic. And I initially got this for spider mites for my philodendron pastazanum and that thing is just a spider mite magnet. So this has helped kind of mitigate the infestation. It didn't get rid of it altogether on that plant, but it definitely helped. And it just kind of helped me get it in control. Now my printer starts working. I've been fighting with the printer all morning to try and get it to print. And I was like, once I start filming, it's probably gonna work. So now here we are, six hours later. And it's working. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff really helped a lot. I'll tell you what's not an April and May favorite is my printer. It usually works pretty well, but something, something is going on with the technology in this house the last few weeks. It's just not going very well at all. Okay, so my next favorite is not a plant, but this pot. My mom and I found this pot when we were, um, we were at TJ Maxx looking for something. I don't know what we were looking for. It's TJ Maxx. You're not looking for anything, but you find everything. So I just love the cute little scallops and this color goes really well with the decor in my house, I thought. So yeah, this is one of my springtime favorites. I should show this side. Yeah, the plant's not in the way. 
Is it gonna storm? Hmm. So yeah, this fun little pot. I think it was either six or eight dollars. It wasn't terribly expensive either. Okay. All right, so I did show this plant in my last video, but I'm just, I'm just over the moon about this new leaf. And the, where, the place that I have it sitting, when I walk by pretty much, pretty much any room that I go in, in my house, I have to walk by this plant. So I'm just so happy to see this new leaf. Um, I had this in my plant rehab series that I've been doing and it was in pretty rough shape there for a while, even though it is one of my favorite plants. So I'm just happy to see it back at it growing again starting off with this pretty new leaf and i'm sorry to do like a talking video two weeks in a row i really do not like talking videos i can't really watch them i just i can't stay focused like if they're showing me something yes but if someone's just talking i have such a hard time paying attention so i usually like to produce videos where i'm like doing something so let me know which one you prefer. But yeah, sorry for doing two of those right in a row. Okay, my next favorite is my Amedrium Silver. And it just put out this new leaf. It kind of got to where it wasn't looking very good. So I ended up chopping it up. And we start out with just these two leaves. And now we have this one, it's sizing up really nice. I'm finding that it likes to be kind of in what I call the understory of my greenhouse. Like it likes to be under, it likes to get more dappled light. So I kind of cover it with other plants and it does a lot better that way. And yeah, just such a cool plant. I'm, I wish more people were into amedriums, but I really, I. I know why they're not. They just, they definitely keep you guessing. And you know, that is what it is. So I, I get it, but I would just love to be able to see more of these all the time. Okay, my next two were actually sent to me as a gift. And should I just show you the whole gift? I'm, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to. I can't remember the name of this, but I believe that it goes by the name Blue Oil Fern as like its nickname. I'll put it on the screen. And I can't tell if the camera's picking it up or not, but it's such a cool color and texture. I just love it. And I have it in this pot that has kind of some blue in it and I feel like it just kind of brings it out. And I have not had this, I haven't even had this plant a week, so I cannot tell you how to care for it. I really hope that I don't kill it. Okay, so the next one is part of the gift also. And that is an actual pretty Paraiso Verde. You guys know how much I struggle with Paraiso Verde, but look at this one. So I'm really hoping that I will be able to keep this one pretty. I'm thinking starting with a less variegated plant was not the move for me, but this plant is so beautiful. And look at the pink edges. It kind of reminds me of like a variegated billetier, but like a different kind of variegation. So cute. I am so happy to have this plant. So thank you so much, Crystal. I love both of these plants. And she also sent me a potato. And I'm going to show you the potato. I think I talk about this a lot on this channel, but I love potatoes, especially this one. This is so cute. It says life was all out of lemons. So here's a potato instead. I just think this is the cutest thing and I have it on my desk. It's not a plant or a plant supply, but it was with those two plants and I'm just obsessed with it, so. Okay. All right, so my next favorite is my Philodendron Brazil that I have, that I have hanging in my kitchen window and I'll show you, I'll show you how it looks hanging there, but it is just starting to look so 
pretty this year. Look at this leaf. Yeah. How pretty is that? But yeah, I just, I have always loved this philodendron Brazil. It started out as like a two inch plant and I just kept putting cuttings back into it. And I've had this plant for a really long time, but it just looks, looks so pretty hanging in my kitchen window. And I'm gonna show you a video of how it looks there. So that's a favorite. And then there are two more out of my greenhouse. I am sure that I show these all the time and you're probably tired of seeing them, but I'm not tired of talking about them. So it's my philodendron Jose Buono. I moved it to a new spot and it's just been growing really fast and having really nice variegation lately. And where I have it, it's just, it feels like the focal point of the greenhouse. And it just, I just love it. I'm never gonna, I'm, yeah. I do think that a philodendron Jose Bono is my all time favorite plant. And if you have one, you understand, I'm sure. They're just so cool. And then my philodendron Billetier, that plant has really just been going off this, these past couple of months. And I made a reel about it pretty recently. And I mean, it's just grown a ton this past year. I can't even, I can't even hardly believe it. And it's already gotten another really big new leaf since I made that video maybe two weeks ago. So yeah, those two, I just, I can't get enough of either of them. They're probably always gonna be in my favorites. Maybe they're just like my default favorites for every month. Those are all my favorites for this past month and a half. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Queen City Tropicals. And I'll see you again soon.